Uh, so we'll be starting the class in a few minutes. We're just going to be waiting to see if anyone else will be coming. table uh, hi and uh, do we need to install anything in the laptop uh well yeah so uh we're we've been using this app called sketchbook uh i mean there is a laptop version but there's also uh so, uh, so sorry uh missed it. what is that laptop uh, version one, another one there's also uh versions on mobile devices. Mm -hmm. So um, we've mostly been using the uh, tablet version, but um, I can somewhat help with, or like, uh, it's easier to explain a little bit of what we're doing on the tablet version, since that's what I'll be using as well. Yeah, okay. yeah thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think uh, at the end of class last week, we wanted to continue a little bit on what we were doing. So I'll be getting, um, let's, yeah, so I'll have um, Mohitram catch up a little bit and I'll have the other two uh, do the rocks that we were doing. Okay, so um okay, so basically to um backtrack on how we started last week. We were using the ruler tool and we just divided the screen in half between the grass and the sky. So um, once you get whatever um, device you'll be using, uh, you just start with that. Um, okay, so for everyone else, we're going to be starting with the rocks. So on, create a new layer on top of everything. And okay, so the rocks that we were using, we started out with a brown color. So if everyone has their brown color, we can start drawing in some circles for the rocks. There's going to be a few, they're all in front of the bushes that we drew last week. So we can just start out with some irregularly shaped uh, ovals or blobs and just space them out in front of all of the rock, the bushes. Okay. 
So I'll give you a minute or two to just lay out the rocks that you want to include. Uh, what type of pen did you use to make the rocks? So I was using the color builder, which uh, is the last, last yeah, one. Last one. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. And uh, do they have to be brown? Can you make them with any other color? Uh, So yeah, so we can do a brown or a gray. Um, let's see. I think some grays. I don't know how to make gray, but I guess we could do brown. Yeah. Um, okay, as for the erasable eraser tool, um, you can create uh click on the two circles that are on the floating thing and it'll be in this section and just above like the color builder there's two erasers so either of those would work to uh create or to use for an eraser okay Can you tell me about the cashmere or the textures? Uh, yeah, you could use either of the two erasers. I think uh, the textured eraser might match the uh, color builder a little bit more, but it's not so okay. important since okay. you might just cover up the erasers again if... Um, Or like you could go over it to match the textures a bit. Um, also, wait, just to check, uh, could you raise your hand if you were here last week? Just so I... I was here last week. Yeah, I know you were, but uh, just to double check if everyone else is at a similar place. So, yeah, okay, so a couple of you are. Um, right, so for everyone else, I'll just, um, the two of you can definitely do your, do the rocks right now. And I'll have everyone else just go back a bit to uh, this section. So last week we used the color builder still, and we used a green or yeah, so we used the green to create the grass that uh, so we use the ruler to create. Uh, two lines, uh, one section that's green on the bottom and one section that's blue on the top. So you can just draw that in and fill in with the bucket tool below and above the two lines that you'll draw. And going back to the rocks.
Okay, so again, for the people who weren't here last week, if you have done the grass and the sky, you then want to use a darker blue and draw in a section between the two on a new layer. And that would be with a darker blue. And that's going to be a river in the background. Okay, so for those of you drawing the rocks right now, if you already have uh, the main section laid out, you can now go in with a darker brown and we can make it a little bit grayish. And so similarly to how we had lighter parts on the top of the tree, we're going to create a sort of, okay, wait, actually. Yeah, so we're going to create a sort of shadowy effect on our rocks. So we're going to first lock the opacity of the layer. So if you can see the eye and the lock on the sort of, uh, on the layer column, click the lock to lock the opacity. So if you can see, it opens and closes. So you want the lock to be closed. And now when I color over it, it doesn't go over the rock or it stays within what you drew. So what we're going to do is sort of uh, follow the shadow or the curve of the rock and create the shadow. So it'll cover a good chunk of the um, browns that you already used, but uh, we can go over things a little bit more later and create more lighter sections of the rock. Uh, okay, so for switching to the eraser tool, you can either use the uh, floating 
circles or you can use this sort of um uh, brush column um if you're using the basic set you can uh in the center of the column you will find the two erasers so you can either use that or you can uh click on the uh the circle for the brushes and use that Okay, so uh, just to check where you guys are at, have um, have those of you on the rocks right now, have you uh, drawn in the shadows? Um, I'm still working on the shadows. Okay. Um, then I'll give you guys a few more minutes for that. Okay, so if you're not on the rocks, at this point, um, um, you should have filled in or used the ruler to draw in the sky and the grass. And so now you're going to create a new layer with the plus sign and draw in the white section, fill in using the ruler tool again a dark blue band for the ocean or uh, the river in between. Uh, also, if you have any questions or uh, if you need an explanation on what to do next, just let me know because uh, we're sort of juggling between uh, adding on to last week and catching up to that. Hmm. So like we have been dark in the whole thing except the this part, like moon part of it. Uh for the rocks? Yeah. Yeah, so 
in that area, you'll be just darkening a larger portion. Um, we're going to leave the parts that are more upwards facing, like uh, for this rock. I just left the uh, higher part uh, in the sunlight. So uh, basically, we're going to leave the lighter parts in the sunlight and drawing in a larger chunk of the shadows. It's sort of the reverse of what we did for the tree uh -huh. that, or the tree in the bushes, because that's where we added on sunlight. So I'm guessing that we've done more of the shadows on the rocks right now. So we're going to move back to the grassy area. And uh, so moving back to the first layer we made, we're going to add some shadows under the rocks and the bushes. So for now, just eye drop from, or wait. Hmm. So pick a dark green compared to, uh, or yeah, so none of the greens in this section will be dark enough compared to the bushes. So we're going to have to pick a either a blue, like this uh, in this blue green section, a teal or a really dark blue. And that we're just going to follow along the bottom of the rocks and the bushes. And that's going to be the start of our shadows. We can also sort of manually go to the, a darker color. Uh, basically by moving the saturation. bushes and the rocks.
if we've done the shadows under the bushes now, uh, we can also add more onto the river and sort of create a lighter part, like where light hits the water. So we're going to pick a lighter blue. Um, we can still use the blue-green section and uh, pick a sort of, uh, pick a bluish color rather than one of the bright greener colors. And we can use our ruler again and sort of uh, just lightly in the center draw draw over the water. Uh, on top of that, just build up a little bit lighter and lighter to a point where you can even add a, a small bit of white onto there. You could also go directly to a whiter color. Just make your brush a little bit small. And over the top of the water, you could just do a little bit of the highlights. Okay, so if we've all gotten to the river point, we can go to the layers which we have the uh, trees or, or the bushes on and add shadows to the bottom of the bottom of these plants. So like we've been using the color or the color builder for most of these leafy plants, as well as the rocks. We can use a, um, once again, the darker greenish blue for the shadow. So since it's in the daytime, we'll have yellow and warm highlights, while the shadows will be more cooler and more blue in, the com in comparison. Okay, so we're going to uh, okay, wait, we actually might want to start with the green that we used last time and move it so it's darker and move it on the main color wheel so that it's a little bit bluer. So essentially just color pick from the green that you used on the tree 
and move it a little bit more down on this part of the color wheel and then increase the dark or the decrease the lightness making it darker and just go below on the bottom half of the tree and the bush as um and use a little bit of a rougher shape doesn't have to be entirely or it doesn't have to be completely shadowy like it has been with the rocks that we did you can always sort of tap in some places and go back with the lighter green to break it up. And then do similar things on the bushes as well. And especially when you're following the rocks, you can add more shadow higher up on the bushes. And so the color that I'm using right now is that we start from, it's not directly from one of the color palettes, but basically you eye drop from your base green and you move a little bit more to the blues and a little bit more to the darker part of the sort of square in the center of your color wheel. So from there, you build up on the shadowy parts of your, your trees. So at this point, we're going to be just adding a little bit more finishing touches to um, our drawing. We've added a lot of the main shadows on to the leaves and or the leaves and the uh, mountain or the river. So at this point, let's go back to the tree trunk. And then we're going to just uh, again, like how we did on the uh, bushes, go to a darker color manually in the color wheel. And similarly to the rocks, we're going to 
draw, draw in a shadow that's different from the tree since the sunlight's coming from the other side. So it's sort of like we're drawing a Uh, we're drawing a, an additional column in the center of the tree that's already there. And it'll just be like the shadow is what we're seeing rather than the highlight of the trunk that's from the light on the other side. If you feel like you've done a little bit too much with the shadow, you can always color pick or undo and get the original color back. And then if you color pick, just uh, build up the light lighter parts again. You can lock it and go over it again or freehand and draw in the lighter parts. So we'll have we have five more minutes left in class. So um This is my final drawing. Yeah, that looks good. Uh do I have to add anything else? Uh I don't think so. I think yours looks mostly complete. Okay. If you wanted to add like um you could always build up a little bit more on like if your rocks are looking like mine, you can always build up on them using a darker color and I'm... deepen the shadows to match with uh, the surrounding area. Like this. Hmm? Oh, okay. Um, so like, what do you mean? Like, I would have to like, Darken it a little bit. Um. Uh, well, my rocks right here were looking like they were sticking out of the screen. So if you feel like your rocks match the shadows of the uh on the grass a little bit more, then you should be good. Mm -hmm. Um. But from what I saw, I think your um image was pretty cohesive and. Yeah, I just got over and stuff. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Uh, uh, well, good job today. So, uh, I think if everyone else is also at this point, um, the drawing is pretty much complete. Um, next week, we'll be doing a different sort of drawing. So, instead of like how we were continu continuing the last one, or continuing the one from last week, we'll be doing a new canvas.
Right, so it's now 545. So if no one has any last questions, then I'll end the meeting soon. Oh, good. Um, thank you. Thank you for coming. And uh, see you next week. Yeah, see you next week. Bye. Um, Okay, so I'll end the meeting now and see you all next week. Bye.